Yeah, it's like when I, I done all that stuff with you and um, just wrote down a lot of things that I wanted. And it was funny, this house here, I actually took a picture of it and said, that's the kind of house I wanted. And at the time I was waiting for all the other money to come through and I actually forgot about it. And when I actually bought it, and then my friend asked me some photos at Christmas time, I was going through the photos and this house was in there. Wow. So it was like, yeah, three months after, it was exactly the same house. That is amazing. Because I said, that's the kind of house I wanted there. Yeah, it was like everything in here. Um, and, it, and it is funny with all that set and forget stuff. It's like even write down everything I wanted in a partner and everything else that we discussed. We were walking down the beach and it's the first time in ages that I felt really good about myself. And we ran into these people that I knew, uh, this couple were talking to them, and they walked off and she was just looking at some shirts and stuff. And I had this voice, I thought it was a guy still there. And it was funny, he said, that's how you're supposed to feel. And I turned around and there was no one there, man. It was freaky as. And it was just, at that point, I think I actually found myself again. It was really one of those moments. It was really, um, I think the more you try, that I, I think I found out and we talked about, the more you want stuff and the more you um, really are desperate for it, it doesn't come. But the more you send it out there, and I really actually believe in this, and I thought it was crap at first. <laughs> um, I think that I think the more you believe that you've got something and it's already there, and then just get on with your life, it comes into your life. Yeah, you're absolutely right. All that stuff, that the house, work, everything else, my life started getting back on track to where, you know, I went from having everything, having the house paid off, to having no job. And, no partner, back at mum and dad's, you know, feeling sorry for myself and you know, my life story and mm. um, really in the pity potty. And, um, yeah, you were, you were in a very rough state, yeah. I was in a really dark place, as you know, and your mind is a very powerful tool. You know, it's, it's amazing how you can go, I never thought I'd be broken, because I was always a very strong person. And I've been through three long-term relationships. Broke me as a person. I never thought, you know, I'd sit there and listen to other people and I think, you know, get over yourself and move on and all the rest of it. And um, yeah, like I, I went, I lost, I went from 112 kilos down to 89 kilos. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. It was amazing how much your, how strong your mind can be to really. Uh, destroy yourself it's amazing I never thought being as strong as I was uh, it could have broke me just walking through um, just pushing and down here in, in South Australia and um, it was a calm day and I was walking through and all these trees around me started rattling I thought it was a plane coming over and it was all the leaves shaking and everything else and it was only around me and I was like that was another moment where it was like I realised I'd been taking life for granted and all the little things now. And all of a sudden after that and that thing at the beach with that voice, that freaked the shit out of me. But it was like an awakening for me to the point of be grateful for the little things, all the things that don't cost you anything. Yeah. I think we all look for material stuff for someone else to love you. Do you know what I mean? And I think for me, I had it all. You know, I had a house paid off, I had a high paying job all the rest of the stuff and it was like a rule 360 it was like I got pulled upside down shaking up and you know whoever it is God or you know the, the powers to be virtually said well guess what mate you're on reset and it was uh, I think for me it's that gratitude everything for me has fallen back into place and probably the biggest thing I've learnt from the whole whole thing is to love myself again that's the hardest thing to do is to actually love yourself i think i've actually fallen back in love with myself again to the point of it's not being a big head or anything else i just think to myself well, i'm a nice person you know i don't need someone in my life to make me happy yeah it's great to have someone there to share stuff because i actually stopped loving myself do you know what i mean i actually did nothing excited me um i think for everyone the hardest thing is to say no I'm not going to do this anymore and I'm going to change. 
because it's not it's not easy man it doesn't as you know it doesn't happen overnight that's right. do you know what i mean that that, that old petty potty we all get into and that self poor me poor this poor that what does that have that to me um i was broken man I, yeah. i'm not gonna lie it, it, it broke me and i never thought a relationship could break me but it was more than the relationship i know that now it was more that I, I stopped loving myself. You helped me with the building blocks there. Do you know what I mean? I either had the choice to keep going on with that and those things that you helped me with, it's like no one can change anyone else. You know what I mean? You, you, you're there and what you do is fantastic and you can help people. When I stopped being so desperate, something and I needed someone, I realized look, just love yourself because when you love yourself, fall in love with yourself again and it doesn't matter if you have 20 partners until the day you die enjoy each person that comes into your life you know what I mean absolutely and so, I, I, that's I, I'm the biggest thing I try to push here. oh look I, I you the transformation in you has been incredible absolutely incredible yeah. and, I, and I just I, I, I think it's very inspiring when something was broken, I had to get the band-aids out. You know what I mean? And keep putting band-aids on my relationships instead of putting, you know, a bit of self-love in yourself. And that's, I think it's, it's not even for males, it's for females. You know what I mean? It's like you've got to justify making everyone else happy. And you do, you lose the loving yourself. You lose um, why people fall in love with you in the first place. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's really strange how you can really damage yourself badly. Yeah. And then you can rebuild yourself. Which you have. Mm. A bigger and better version. <laughs> yeah. I'll ask you one question. So how has life been since our sessions? Uh, fantastic. You know what I mean? Like, it's um, that, that time where I was zoned out a bit. Do you know what I mean? It freaked me out a bit because it was like, fuck, you know, what did I say or what did I do and everything else. But for me, um, it, it was worth worth the investment, do you know what I mean? And it was worth the time. Um, and it, to me, it was just the foundation, do you know what I mean? Because I, I, I'll probably call you the foundation maker, do you know what I mean? It's like it's, you build the foundation, but sorry, people, to give you the bad news, you got to keep building. <laughs> but it's like you laid the foundation there, but you know, sorry, folks, we have to do the work as well. Yeah, absolutely. Because if you don't do the work and don't use the principles. Thank you. Um, you no, you're really right. are inspiring. And I, I just think what some of those things that you said will mean a lot to people. A lot. Yeah, a lot of people that are broken, you know, it's sad, man. It really is sad to see people be so hard on themselves there's nothing wrong with asking for help you know that's the trouble it's a lot of people have pride and they think they're going to make everything perfect and they don't mm. ask for the help get help get it out in the open there's nothing more i think you know we're a society a long time ago that it was embarrassing to say that you you're struggling mm. Mm. do you know what i mean i think we're a lot better at doing it these days and mm. To say, you know, I'm struggling, I need help, that's that's the first step. Yeah, beautiful. Well said. Really well said, honestly, hey. Dave. Thank you so much. Not bad from someone that didn't really hey, want to say. <laughs> I think there's a lot of people that need to hear some of that beautiful stuff you just said. <laughs> no worries. Thank All you very right. much. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Talk to you. Love your heaps. Take care. Yeah, you too. Bye. See you, mate.